there was not one person in my class that had consistently beaten the grades that I was getting. This had nothing to do with talent. It had everything to do with effort. That was all it was. My bachelor's degree took three years. Three years later. If you want numbers, 50 exams later, 30 assignments later, 10 PowerPoint presentations later, and no one beat me. Three straight years. And I put 100% effort into all of them. And that's the only thing that kept me at the top because that's all I ever knew. I had no business coming in second or coming in third. There was no other person in that class willing to give up what I was willing to give up. There was no other person in that class willing to sacrifice what I sacrificed. I'm just sharing my story to tell you all that it can be done. You need to destroy the self-imposed limitations. I hear it every day from people just like you. They tell me, I'm just not smart enough to get the highest grades. I'm just not wired that way. But it's that exact mindset that is the only thing stopping you. It's the only thing stopping you from achieving phenomenal grades. It was the effort that I knew would take me to the top. It was the effort that I knew would get me the best job after graduation. It was the effort that I knew would take care of my family financially. It was the effort that was between me and success. And I knew that. I knew that no one could give me that effort. It was a waste of time trying to find it externally. Effort can only come internally. My mom couldn't give me it. My lecturers or friends couldn't give me it. It was all down to me. There are two sides of pain that I don't think a lot of people really understand. There's one side of pain, that's the suffering and discomfort side of pain. That's the side where you force yourself to wake up in the morning when your whole body is telling you to have a lie in. It's the side of pain where you have to force yourself to study when your friends are calling you to hang out. It's the side of pain when you get your exam results back, but you're disappointed because you felt like you deserved better. But then, there's another side of pain. That's called effort. It's called glory. It's called, if you can find a way to push through pain, there's something great on the other side of it. And if you never tap into it, it's because the first time you felt it, you back off. The first time you felt it, your natural reaction is to back away. It's too much. We rationalize with ourselves to where we automatically stop as soon as we begin to feel the pain. It's why so many of us give up in life so quickly. It's why kids have a problem finishing things. Because as soon as they feel a small bit of discomfort or things they don't immediately like, they're gone. I can't do it anymore. But suppose I told you the craziest pain of my life is the reason I'm standing here today. I dare you to take a little pain. You're not going to die just because you had to study. It's not dangerous. It's nothing compared to what our ancestors had to go through. It's nothing compared to what people are experiencing in war zones. Go through it. Embrace it. It's the only way you're going to reach success. The guys that have already reached success, Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, Oprah Winfrey, they've all experienced phenomenal amounts of pain to get to where they are today. Because the pain is temporary. It might last for a few minutes, all day, or even the rest of the year. But eventually, 
you'll come out the other side stronger than you were before. But if you quit, that pain is going to last forever. As Les Brown puts it, you have to say yes to your life. Yes to your dreams. Yes to you. Yes to your studying. It doesn't matter how many times you failed. Doesn't matter how many mistakes you've endured. Doesn't matter about your defeats. Doesn't matter about what you've done. You know you can do more than what you've been doing. You know that there's some exceptional work ethic within you that you haven't brought out of you yet. See, if you look at your life, and if you're not getting what you want, you owe it to yourself to do something differently. If you're not getting the grades you want, if you're not performing where you think you're capable of, if that's what it is, then you owe it to yourself to start strategically working to change your direction. You know what most people will do? Most people will fight change, as if change is worse than what they're experiencing. Most people will not challenge the unknown. They just won't step out there. But life isn't like that. It's not how you grow. So as you look at your life, you think, I'm not getting what I want. Begin to know that whatever it takes for you to create that, you've got that within you. You've got that. You've got genius in you. You've got intelligence in you. You've got creativeness in you. You've got self-discipline in you. If you decide to take the initiative to change the current quality of your life, then you will find that the universe is on your side. And you can make that decision today. Right now. As soon as this video ends, go and get your textbooks and spend an extra one hour studying tonight. Spend a bit less time watching TV tonight. Spend a bit longer preparing for tomorrow's studying. It's these small actions that if taken on a daily basis, accumulate into big results. The small wins throughout the day, consistently. And then, these actions turn into bigger actions. Maybe you start studying an extra two hours a day, or an extra three to four hours a day. You've just got to start, and that's the hardest part. But once productive habits start to form, you'll see the results for yourself. Ed Milet, one of the top peak performance experts on the planet, explains it like this. Failure and setbacks, students quitting, failing the exams, having retakes, dropping out, it's all going to happen. Just get ready. Don't give in to that stuff. Don't give in to the fears. Don't give in to the setbacks. You're gonna have failures. It's part of the journey. And when you get weak, when your classmates give up, when your friends tell you you shouldn't be studying so much, you remember why you're doing it. Start to stand up a little taller. Start to walk more confidently. Start becoming the best version of you. You can do it quietly in your own way. You can do it in the way you want, but somehow they gotta look at you and think, okay, I ain't gonna mess with that one. You're gonna have to put up with some failures. You're gonna have to put yourself into some uncomfortable places. Listen to me, do it. Put yourself into an uncomfortable place. Don't negotiate. Don't try to navigate it in your head. Now, will it be turbulent? Yes. Will it be easy? Absolutely not. Will you make a lot of mistakes? Yes. But you owe it to you. You owe you.